the CEO and president of the International Council of Shopping Centers, Tom McGee. Tom, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. You're at the forefront of the shopping center industry. Characterize what you're seeing right now. Uh, I actually think we're seeing a very robust shopping season. Oh. Um, our uh, forecasts are for sales to increase 3.5% year over year from last year. A Super Saturday this past weekend, a Super Saturday weekend really was Super Saturday. Uh, we uh, estimated about 120 million Americans uh, went shopping over the, over the past weekend, and we estimate that about 20% of holiday shopping still left to come, and people expect to do that over the course of the next couple of days. Tom, can you explain the weather thing? Because yeah. uh, we blame the weather when it's super cold. That's the reason why people aren't shopping. Now we're blaming the weather. It's right. super warm. <laughs> you're right. So you're do right. we need the mama bear weather to get people out there to shop? Hey, just right, right. Well, yeah. first of all, I think it's nice to have this warm weather. But I think so too, but everybody's complaining about <laughs> well, yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, Doesn't obviously, it obviously, uh, well, What's the I problem? Think it, it obviously impacts, you know, coat sales and things of that nature. Yeah. But I also think it, the fact that the, the weather is more enjoyable also brings people out. And so I think you'll see other uh, aspects of the retail industry probably do better. And you've got companies like Home Depot that are just loving the yeah, you weather. Yeah, I mean, you can They're actually claiming that that's, that's part of their sales mm -hmm. going up. Yeah, so. I think that it's, it is driving a lot of uh, other areas of growth. I'll tell you the other big thing, and there's been a lot of conversation around bricks versus clicks and, you know, the impact of online. I, I actually think that story is a little bit dated. I really think what is happening is one of convergence now. It's really bricks and clicks. Yeah. And you see a, a really the, the shopping center, the physical retail location becoming kind of the hub of the shopping experience. I'll give you one interesting interesting uh, fact, a third of the folks that bought things online went and picked it up in a store. And then when they were there, 70% of them bought something else. And so it really is driving traffic. I think people do a lot of research online. And I, I actually think it's additive to the shopping experience. I don't think it's really a, comp, a competition. Yeah, I mean, I think today, you know, when you want to buy something, first you want to go check it out online. And you want to see, you know, what it looks Certainly like. And, and price get, comparison. Price right? comparison. And then you go into the shopping. Yeah, you do place. research. You, uh, you have a better, you, you see more customers coming into stores better informed as to what they want. Uh, they tend to be more efficient, uh, shoppers as a result, and that actually drives them to do other things when they're in the store. I mean, there's more experiences now within malls and shopping centers, restaurants, what entertainment. What are the big sellers this year? What, what, what's hot in terms of products? Well, we were talking about it off, offline. Star Wars is certainly, <laughs> certainly hot. I think everything Star Wars, uh, everything Star Wars and obviously electronics, things of that nature that are typical during the holiday season. It's five years from today. Does the shopping mall look any different? Are there going to be different experiences? Yeah at the shopping mall other than shopping? Yeah, I think you're going to continue. And you've already seen that be begin with a lot more dining options, restaurants, entertainment, um, uh, service providers. I think that will continue. I also think you'll see more technology integrated in the shopping experience, you know, opt-in beacon technology, better wireless technology within, within malls, et cetera. I, I do think that trend around technology and experience will continue it's to evolve. It's going to become more of a community center as we get... Well, I, I think, you know, it's here. interesting and what's often untold is how important shopping centers are to local communities and really as a community and, and, and things as such as how much of the, the level of jobs that they create, sales tax revenue, I mean $140 billion of sales tax revenue is created from shopping centers which obviously funds municipal services so they are central to local communities across the United States. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense and it makes sense that technology would change it into, you know. But Maria, now you walk around the mall with your phone and yeah. it goes off as you sure. walk by the store. And it's Google a will magnet to bring you and to Google will say to you, Dominic, Absolutely. you bought a pair of sneakers last week. We know you did. Uh, there's a cheap that's pair a around. Scary, the, that's yeah. a little scary, but that's what Google is, is yeah. doing, yeah. sending you emails Amazing. right when you're right next to the store. What about the bookstores? <laughs> you ever see a bookstore again in a shopping mall? Or yeah, you think that, I, 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 do. I love bookstores. I think people, I think I'm there's a... Little, sort of sad that yeah, me too. the direction of what's happening. Yeah, I think you will see things like that come back because, again, that speaks to experience. I mean, people, the reason that you enjoyed them was the level of experience. Now, you may not see it at the scale that it once was. Was, but you'll see things like that come back that drive experience. It's not just reading the books, it's also drinking a cup of coffee and mingling with friends and so forth, which I think is a big trend in shopping. Sure is. Tom, good to have you on the show. Yeah, thanks for You're having super me. Super optimistic, Tom. I am super optimistic. You, you, you need a white beard and a red coat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly got the red face. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Tom. Good to see Happy you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. There's one